my mom brains at operation and also big on the education mm-hmm, factor. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd probably, I didn't personally care about school, you know, growing up as, as most kids in the basketball right, world. Right, so right. if we're being honest here, but to, to the kids, like as I stress and as I'm saying now, if you, when you watch this, you got to do what you got to do. You have mm-hmm. business to take care of. This is a part of your business. Mm-hmm. You cannot be the player you want to be or do whatever you want to do in life without taking care of this aspect first. You can't, just fail and BS this stuff, you won't be able to get to that next mm-hmm. step. So therefore, there's a that you have to take that those stepping stones and do that. Take care of your business to get to what you want to get to. Um, but she was heavy on me about that, as my dad was big on the basketball. Um, Healthy balance there, <laughs> and it worked out. Um, also, um, my upbringing was just phenomenal. Um, being around, being in the same neighborhood as a lot of my closest friends, going to the schools that they they put me in, from the Ancona School in Hyde Park, private school in Hyde Park, to Whitney Young. Mm-hmm. Couldn't ask for better. Couldn't ask for So all that put together and just learning how to be a man. Like, I wish I, my father passed away now, but I, I wish he was still around to help me through this course of Becoming and being a man. I'm in that phase too. My father um, passed away too. So condolences to you. Nah, so I, to I you. know exactly what you're going through. And it's interesting that you say that because, you know, Bo still has the pleasure of having his dad. And that's a lot of times after we do shows here, particularly on weekends, his dad is usually in the office. I think he said, yeah. And um, just talking to his dad. First of all, he's the funniest man. One of the funniest men I ever met, right? But he's so like... He's so real. And that's what I love about the elderly. They like they just talk so free. So and free. it's like, I don't give a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and I love him for that. And um, so like both st- you know, Bo still having his dad, I won't call it a jealousy thing, but I do envy that because I watch I I, I hone in on when you're talking to your dad. Mm-hmm. And I watch how y'all talk to each other, but I also watch how you're looking at your dad while he's talking. Mm-hmm. And it's just like you're in awe of him a lot of times. And so I wish my dad was around, and, and that's stuff that I be telling Xavier. Is like, I want you in the moment because I'm preparing you for life after me. That, that's all. This all these life lessons are, bro. Is like, when I'm gone, you need to be able to not miss a beat uh-huh. on that path. That's it. Like, I I don't want you stuck. Like, okay, you go through your whatever you need to go through about me not being here. Okay, boo hoo hoo. All right, I get you. But like, the next day. It's still going to come. Go That's, and you got to be ready for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 